Coach, not the result you're looking for, but uh, Western Michigan, they they were as good as advertised, weren't they? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We we haven't um, been that not engaged in a while. Um, and Western Michigan, as you as you say, was 100 percent as advertised. Um, we're looking at, at what you were able to do tonight. Uh, they limited you in shots, maybe took too many penalties and, and uh, turned the puck over probably more than you wanted. What, yeah. what do you need to do tomorrow to, to clean those up? Well, I think we need to get back to the effort we've been playing with for most of the second half of the year. That, that's to me where it, where it starts. I, 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 it, it's tough to explain. I mean, you know, last weekend, two really good efforts on the road. You know, you come home, you're celebrating nine seniors on senior weekend, that kind of thing, and and we just we just didn't play well, you know. We, we and, and we picked a, the wrong team to play so poorly against. Um, so I, I think it's that back to the to, to the no matter what that we're going to compete hard, um, we're going to engage you physically and mentally. Um, that'll lead to more shots. That'll lead to less penalties. That'll lead to less turnovers. Those, those kind of things. Full marks to Western. I mean, I, I mean, absolutely. But um, there was not much pushback from our group tonight. It seems like as the season's gone on, there have been some games where uh, that were regrettable games. That uh, yeah, thinking to the first game in North Dakota, and then uh, the first game against the St. Cloud here. But the team seemed to rebound really well after yeah. those. Uh, what are they? What does that say about sort of their resiliency to bounce back? Well, uh, unfortunately, I think we've been on the wrong side of a lot of results over the course of time, and not just this season. And we've had to respond and, and answer. Now that hasn't happened in a while. You know, I mean, uh, yeah, the 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 a game here or there, but um, we've we've put together some pretty solid efforts here over the the second half. What you're talking about, even even the Friday night at Western Michigan, we didn't. It wasn't a great night uh, when we were up in Kalamazoo in November, and and we kind of sort of responded. Um, but that that's I think our group has gotten used to that, unfortunately. Um, and there's no uh, there's no reason to believe we won't be better tomorrow in terms of more engaged mentally, more engaged physically, and 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 uh, and go nose to nose with a really good team. Tomorrow night, celebrating those nine seniors, and um, expect the team to to step up. We heard um, from one of the players that uh, you know expecting to play big for for the seniors and and try to go out in a in a good way. Um, how do you expect them to respond after after tonight's game and and, uh, and try to send those seniors out on a on a high note? Well, I, I expect our guys to respond just for all the things we've been talking about. I mean, I mean again, it wasn't it wasn't a, a very good effort on our part. So um, I, I think we there's more in us. Um, being at home, we can make some changes to the lineup and and and, and potentially get some get some other people involved, and 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 that's always a way to potentially. Uh, infuse some energy to the group, and um, I just I just think our group will play will play harder tomorrow. And what can you say about those nine seniors as they uh, they go out in their their home careers uh, coming to an end, their Goggin career coming to an end tomorrow? You've been in in that position before, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is that what does that mean to the players in that that last game on the home ice? Yeah, I, I think it I think it means a lot to the players. You know, it's a of the nine guys, it's a it's two different groups. It's five guys that have been here the whole time that I've been here. Uh, and then four other guys that have kind of come in 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 in, in pieces. I mean, you know, cassetti has been here for a while. Jack Homestead's been here for a while. Logan Eaton's been here for two years and then um, Carter McPhail just got here. So um, the, the five guys that we've been through this with, uh, it's been difficult winning and losing. We were through COVID together, you know, like that, that's, uh, that's something you'll look back on and, and, um, uh, you know, I, I cherish is the wrong word, but you know, when you go through things like that with people, it, it, it brings you closer together. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like they're guys that are, uh, that are going to be part of uh, turning this thing around, which is which is the goal for all of us. Um, we think that the, the culture has been the, the foundation of the culture has been laid, and and you know now we just have to implement it on a more daily basis, more consistently. These guys will be part of that foundation. It felt like early on they had the better play, you kind of settled in a little bit, but too much to overcome. Kind of how, break down for us. What did you see from the game? Um, our start definitely wasn't what we wanted. That was pretty apparent. Um, we felt pretty good about our play past uh, two, three, four games, and that's definitely not how we want to come out. And uh, we need to be better at, you know, 
taking care of the slippery slope that we tend to find ourselves on. Um, we'll be better tomorrow, though, for sure. It felt like a physical game, a lot of effort going into it. Um, I mean, rivals have played a long time. Kind of what can you take away from that and the energy going into tomorrow? Um, well, we know what we're going to expect, right? Um, playoffs coming up. We need momentum. We're going to come and give it everything we got tomorrow. It's our last game in Goggin. Um, our seniors are going to come. We're going to give it our all. And we're really excited for, for what we got in store. And yeah. Kind of big picture. Think about that of four years and all the memories. And yeah. what are you looking forward to about tomorrow? Uh, definitely not looking forward to my last game in Goggin. Uh, I love this place. It's brought me so many things that uh, I'll never be able to find words to repay them. Uh, Big picture, uh, yeah, we're just really excited. I mean, we, obviously tonight was what we expected, what we wanted, but we have good momentum. We have the right mindset in our locker room. And, uh, yeah, keep on keeping on.